Hi guys, this is Pet Steely and welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. In this video, I'm covering patch 0.12.8 and it is absolutely massive. There is a lot to cover, so we're not going to mess about. We're going to get straight into it. So without further ado, let's crack straight into it. So first up, the compass has been added to the game. To buy the compass, you've got a Jaeger level 1. Uh, it's 160,000 rubles. And then when you're in a raid, all you have to do is press the U key and uh, the compass will be brought up. The bearing will be coming up in the bottom right hand corner. Uh, and if you left click on your gun to shoot, it'll quickly put the compass away and then take a shot. It's about a second delay. Um, or if you uh, right click, it'll put the, the compass away and you'll go into ADS. So it, it's, it's going to be really great for squads. And uh, most people will get right into buying it. I just bought one for the sake of having it, but um, yeah, definitely a good addition for a little for a bit of squad play. Um, moving over to the new skills, there are two new skills and one then that's now been activated and kind of been there the whole time. Uh, hideout management is now in the game and crafting. The crafting skill increases the speed in which items are crafted in your hideout. It's very straightforward. Every time you craft an item, um, it take it it levels it up by about. Uh, two skill points to 2.5 depending on the item i'm not sure if time makes any adjustment in that but i'm, I'm waiting to see for hideout management uh, it decreases the amount of items used say from like fuel in the generator as well as increases the bonuses from stuff like your air filter and uh, i'm guessing your library so we'll have to wait and see how much of an effect that has on skill leveling uh, but over overall it will in, uh, save you money because your fuel will last longer as for the final skill, uh, prone movement is now activated so you can actually see what it does. It says it's reducing the volume by like 160%, which obviously isn't true. Um, but uh, over time, as this levels up even more and more, we'll have to wait and see how much of an actual effect it has on sound. Um, maybe after a period of time, I'll start a new account and then we can check the decibels against each other. But I'm interested in seeing where that goes. Heavy bleeds have been added to the game now. Uh, so when you get shot, you either have like a light bleed or a heavy bleed. Um, it's pretty straightforward. If you have a light bleed, you lose health at like a slower rate, but heavy bleeds will lose it at a faster rate. I smacked a guy with a shotgun in the leg and then shot him again in the thorax and arm uh, with the new KS-23 shotgun. And then I just heard him coughing and splattering and about five seconds later, he fell over and died. So it was actually really cool because he just... He had no time after taking a bit of damage. The, the, the rate in which he lost his blood um, made it that if he didn't heal, he was going to die. So I think it's actually really cool. Makes some other guns a lot more viable. There might be a few more trade kills from that, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, there are the two new meds being added to the game, the tourniquets. Uh, one's a single use, the other is a five use. It might be a three use. One, three and five or one and five. Uh, available at level one and level three therapist. Um, otherwise, you can use the labels and grizzlies that will heal the uh, heavy bleeds, but they will take 90 of the actual um, Solera away or the grizzly away. So 90 hit points from the actual item or Zagustans also stop heavy bleeds. So which is pretty cool for that. Uh, heavy bleeds also do leave a blood trail. I didn't get much footage of blood trails, um, but they do leave a blood trail. So once they have a heavy bleed, blood kind of splatters all over the ground. Um, there's a lot more blood now, it feels like. There are two new helmets added to the game, the Kaiman, which is only found in raid at the moment. Um, I had to buy one for like 400,000 rubles. They will drop down in price. It's a class four helmet and also the face shield and, and the, uh, like the chin protector. Um, mandible thing from that. They're both class two. It's a pretty trash helmet overall. Um, there is a, a top plate that I didn't actually buy, but um, overall, I wouldn't be spending 400,000 on this helmet, but we'll have to wait and see if it, it gets to a reasonable price where it's usable. The Reese T uh, helmet, which is the, the black Alton helmet, has slightly better hit points on both the, uh, the face shield and the helmet itself, and every other stat's pretty much exactly the same. Um, they are very expensive at, mo at the moment because of the amount of uh, plex that you need to buy. I think you need 10 to get both uh, the face shield and the helmet, and there's some other barter trade items that you need, like Cordura and stuff. So at the moment, they're about a million rubles to buy, but hopefully they will drop down. The new armor, uh, the Corund from Praparit sold by, uh, is a class five armor with 45 durability. Uh, it's actually only about 90,000 rubles and it works really well. The issue I've found is uh, it, when you get hit with it, you seem to like lose the durability super fast. Um, but when you do repair it, it's like nearly instant. Uh, sorry, no, it's nearly like completely full when you repair it. So it's, uh, it's gonna be one of those armors that if no one loots it, um, but say they don't have room or anything, you get it back from insurance. It will be pretty cheap to repair and you can just go back in again and it won't really remove much away from the um, total durability of the armor. So going to be a new probably meta budget armor, I, I would imagine, as it's only around 90,000 rubles and you're not going to be spending that shitload of money, but it's a class five armor. So it will stop a lot of the, uh, the, the lower ammos. 
There are three new backpacks being the F4, which has 40 squares. It's kind of broken down into like a, I think it's a six by five section. And then it's got two, like two by five sections. Um, I don't know how much people are gonna use this one purely for the fact that it's, you can't really fit like two TV rigs in there, but it's uh, it's, it's all right. Uh, it's very expensive though. It's 75,000 rubles to buy it from Ragman. Uh, and that's at Ragman level three. The F5 armor has 30 squares in it. So that's about the same as a beta, a beta backpack. Um, and then there's the tourist backpack, which is just a found in raid blue shitty little backpack you can get. There are the three new guns being added, the RFB, which is kind of like an MDR that's semi-automatic. Uh, it's a bullpup. Uh, you shoot your M80 ammos and your M61, M62 being the uh, 762 by uh, 51 on top of my head. And uh, it sounds amazing. It actually is a heap of fun to use and it's just cool to use. So you can put suppressors on that or you can put um, one of the other the Lantac uh, muzzle on it and it sounds beastly. Uh, and you can drop drop people left, right and center with that. Good fun. Uh, the KS-23, which is the new shotgun. Uh, ammo is selling out very quickly. Hopefully they can uh, increase the amount of ammunition that you can buy for this one so you can actually use it more. Uh, it's not too expensive, but it do definitely does pack a punch. I was running around factory and dropping people very quickly without even having to hit them in the thorax. You hit them in the, in the stomach and that pretty much destroys them. Um, there is a really cool ammunition. There is buckshot and slug, slug, but there's also flash ammo. So when you shoot that, it just kind of like lights up the screen. Um, I don't know what it looks like from the other perspective, but it is pretty cool. It doesn't have any effect on you when you use it though. So, um, but there is no projectile that comes out, so it can't destroy uh, anyone with that. Uh, the new pistol, the M45A1, it's found in raid only at the moment. Um, it's a 45 in, uh, ACP and uh, I haven't used it yet, but I did buy one off the flea market just to check it out. Um, and I'll probably end up using it eventually. As for mods, there was actually a heap of mods. I think I took about 20 screenshots. I'll have them like probably pop up all over the screen right now quickly for you. Um, the only mod that really is going to stand out like, holy crap, is we need this one right now on, on my gun. It's going to be the Vepa Hunter Suppressor. Um, right now, it's a barter trade. It's a uh, AA battery in Nixor. Initially, they skyrocketed in price, but they have dropped down um, quite considerably since. So um, I can, I do believe we're going to see a lot more Vepa Hunter Suppressed running around. But at the moment, it's about 50,000 rubles for the Suppressor, and it's about the same price as a gun. So um, there probably won't be that many a little bit more, but a bit, a bit more of a meme kind of thing. As for stream items, Veritas had his guitar pick added to the game as golden guitar pick. And now for the collector task, you do need to hand in Veritas's guitar pick, which can be found in saves. And Sakurai's T has now been added to the collector task as well, which means all stream items in the game are now required for the collector task. And that's the one to get the Kappa container. As for Ragman, you can now get the new clothing for both Yusek and Bear. Uh, I've got screenshots that will come up for both of them. Um, so you'll be able to get one top and one pants for both Yusek and Bear. Uh, they're actually quite expensive to unlock. I think it's about, you need about level 50 or 52. And one was about 1.75 million and the other was 2 million. So very expensive, but it's kind of cool to have some new stuff. Uh, for food and drink, the Kvass has now been added to the game, which is a founding raid only drink. Now I'm going to move over to the quality of life. And this is where this patch has gone through the roof with uh, being as epic as it, as it is. I'm actually wrapped to play this patch. Um, the first one I'm going to talk about is mag loading. So pretty much if you have a mag in your rig or backpack or wherever, and you want to reload that mag with ammunition before you go into the raid, you can literally right click on it, go load mag, and it will grab any ammunition that is spare inside your actual um, stash, whether it's in an ammo box or in a rig somewhere, and you can pick which type of ammunition you want. So if you've got some M61 or M80, you could just chuck that straight in there and you don't even have to like, you know, sort through all your shit to find it, which is awesome it's going to speed up loading mags before going into raid heaps so that quality of life is awesome uh going over the sorting there has been a few bugs and issues with sorting i'd be very careful about sorting your actual stash um, i've only been using it at the moment for say ammo boxes and mag boxes just to clean up the boxes um so go go crazy on that but people have been saying um stuff has been disappearing from their stash if you sort inside a stash so just be careful of that i probably wouldn't do that uh for the flea market if you go to buy something say there's like 50 up for sale, you go to buy all 50, but there's only 25 by the time you press yes. Uh, you will now buy all 25 that are remaining instead of bringing up an error. So that's a little cheeky quality of life. So that's going to be a little bit more helpful when you're trying to buy items in bulk. There is now a uh, real-time added information to when you modify guns. So say um, like I'll have up on the screen right now when I'm modifying a Vepa Hunter by putting the suppressor on or off you'll actually see how much recoil reduces or adds uh, down by the info section down the bottom left. Now, when you're in a raid as well, if you're in the middle of doing something like you're about, you know, you get shot out of something and you want to drop your backpack, double tapping Z will just 
do a quick throw animation of your backpack. I've been testing this out while doing other uh, other animations like healing. Uh, if you're just starting the healing or finishing the healing, you can do it. Or, um, but if you're in the middle of a heal, it won't let you do it. So um, it will give you that little bit of wiggle room on the each side of that, which is I think is fine. Uh, but that drop backpack is going to be game changing when you get into a fight and you're carrying like 100 kilo out of a raid. Um, speaking of healing though, you will not be able to heal and then reload a mag at the same time. So to fix that, uh, I wouldn't call it an exploit, but they've made it that you can no longer heal and also load mags at the same time. A really cool little uh, animation or uh, quality of life change is now it actually highlights what boxes you can put something in, whether it's full or not, and if you're allowed to put it in there. So say you have some ammunition and you want to chuck it into an ammo box and three of them are full and one's not, you'll know which one's full. And uh, for example, it'll also show you that you can put it in a, in a weapon uh, container as well because ammunition can go in that one. So that's a really nice little addition there. It's gonna, all these little things are just gonna speed up that like time in, in uh, lobby and make it like just that little bit nicer. Uh, if you go to leave the game and you still have your generator on, there will be a prompt saying the generator is still on. There are new items, uh, locations for uh, finding items in raids. So for example, you can now find SSDs in safes and there's a heap of new items uh, being found all over the place, I've been told. So that's gonna be a lot more enjoyable for a bit more excitement when you're in a raid. One of the coolest things that, like it's a quality of life thing, but it just is cool in general, is when you go to squad up with your teammates, you will now see them in the lobby, up to five people, had all five in there, and then they do little animations depending on what guns they've got. So it's actually just a really sick thing to see. So, and you can transfer leadership or kick people from that, uh, from the visual animations of having them all there. So that's actually really nice. Speaking of animations, as you're loading in, you'll also be able to see different animations from when you're loading in. So you'll pick up your gun and aim down your sight and just do random things. Uh, and that just happens automatically. There are new bear voice lines. However, I don't have a, uh, a bear account at the moment that I've got available to me. So I can't really just show you those right now. But uh, there are two new, uh, sorry, one new bear voice line. There's a colored HP in the HUD. So when you take damage now uh, and you're in the middle like, of combat, it'll actually show you representing the exact same health that you have uh, say on your health screen. So say a limb's down to red, it'll actually show you on the HUD up the top left that it's down to red. Now you can put this back to the old way where it would just be gray or not gray, and, and that's up to you. Now, if you go to reload a mag and the mag is empty and you don't have any other mag to put into the uh, gun, it will actually just take off the mag. And then if you press reload and they've got uh, some spare ammunition inside your backpack, or sorry, inside your rig, uh, you will chamber a single round into the gun, which is pretty cool. On top of that, you can now hold control R as well, and it will just remove the chambered round from the gun. And there's some really sick animations. I've actually had a few videos in the past where I've just shown off some of them during like talking about, I don't know, patches and stuff. Another little tiny quality of life change is uh, you can now see the med stats in the hot bar. So down the bottom, say your, your IFAC has 300 health left, um, you'll be able to see that down in the, uh, in the hot bar as well. Sorry, 200 health left instead of 300. Over to med changes, so um, they've reduced the duration of some of the painkillers. Ibuprofen has now gone from 6 minutes down to, uh, what, 4 minutes and 40 seconds. Golden Star has gone from 10 minutes down to uh, 400 seconds, so what's that, about 7 minutes. And it also removes 10 energy, but then also gives you the 5 energy still. So, a um, bit of a change there, the Golden Star and the Ibuprofen. So a big change there. Car med kits no longer heal bleeds at all, so they're pretty much a big cheese. So um, if you find Makai Med Kits and you're trying to heal a bleed, no longer possible. Over to crafts in the hideout, the 7N31 is now a available craft in the hideout. So you can grab some of that ammo because it's nearly always sold out when you go to buy it. As for other changes, which I won't have any animations or footage up for you guys at the moment, just because I just can't find all this stuff that quickly and I'm trying to get this video out for you guys. So you get a very quick but detailed overview of all this stuff. Uh, the bosses do have new voice lines. The high quality color option uh, is now available, which is meant to uh, increase performance. Um, if you're doing the Tarkov shooter task, any of the bold action rifles will now work for the Tarkov shooter task. The SV-98 no longer has a trigger delay. Fall damage has been increased, which I actually did do this, but I couldn't, I didn't get the clip for it. Um, but yeah, if you have much, pretty much any weight overweight, you fall off something, you'll pretty much bu uh, bust your leg. Um, the auto quick reload will happen when you get flashbang. So if you get flashbang, you go to reload, you'll drop the mag. Uh, raiders do kill scavs now. And lastly, you will be able to find berets on scavs in the wild. So guys, that is it for this video. There is a lot I've covered. I'll try to belt feed it out as quickly as possible and give all the animation and video footage around for you guys. So hopefully um, you, you learned some stuff and you're excited for this patch as I am because it's 
really cool. Um, it feels like very fresh right now. Um, so I'm excited. A lot of really cool quality of life changes. It's just going to make the game just that more, much more enjoyable for you guys. So lastly, um, thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, smash the shit out of the like button and comment. It really does help out the YouTube algorithm. Um, share it with your friends and all that. If you like anyone's YouTube video, please just go like it. Uh, if you're watching a random video, it does really help out with uh, discoverability. Um, besides that, guys, I, I try and post videos out all the time and I do stream on Twitch every day of the week. So go and link below, give me a follow over there. And lastly, guys, I'll see you next time.